What's going on, everybody? This is Nick Lawson from Squad Sports. We're really excited to be supporting the Free Agent Friday series. A lot of great talent out there. Without further ado, this is the next free agent you should be signing with your sports team. We're back for another Free Agent Friday, and today I've got David Monica with me. David, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. So give us a little background. Um, let's start with college. You know, where'd you go to school? Um, any degrees um, that you had? Yeah, sure. So uh, I'm from Toronto, Ontario. Um, in Canada, I went to Western University. That's in London. Um, so I studied business there, financial economics, political science, because I thought, you know, it could open doors. And, you know, like a lot of people that venture into sports, I felt a little unfulfilled because I knew that sport was my passion and that was the way to go. So after graduation, I did some certificates in basketball scouting and analytics. And then I did a postgraduate program at Humber College, which is a college here in uh, Toronto, in sport business management. So that focused more on the business side of sport, and it really brought in my horizons to, you know, all the things that you can do in sport. So it was really eye-opening, and uh, yeah, so that's all my education so far. So why sports? Like, what, what makes you want to get into the sports business? Uh, so I've been playing since I was a kid. I played pretty high level basketball. I played high school football, volleyball, kind of just any time that I could join a sports team, I would. And uh, it was just such a big part of my life. And, you know, after I stopped playing, I realized that that was the part of my life that I missed the most. And it's I tough, wanted, man, it's tough. It, it really <laughs> is. So I just wanted to get that back. And, um, you know, I love what I do now. And to me, that's the most important thing when pursuing a career. So, you know, I love learning about all the different types of uh, sport business avenues that you can take. And, and uh, yeah, I, I just love it. So, so what's kind of your ideal role then, you know, that you're looking for now? Yeah. So uh, I like, I would like to do something sport technical. Um, so that, that stuff's hard to come by, like scouting, coaching, and I'm working with stuff like that right now. But in terms of the, the business side of things, more marketing and sponsorships. I had uh, two internships with, with my program there, and they were both in the marketing and sponsorship divisions. And I learned so much, and, and I loved it. I loved the idea of being able to uh, connect with different people in the sport industry and um, just learning about what it takes to really be a sport professional. And so is um, basketball your top sport? I know you said that you played at a high level. Um, is that? Yeah, yeah. Basketball for sure is my uh, my top sport. I'm working in basketball right now and a couple different things uh, that I'm doing. So, yeah. Are you a Raptors fan or who's your team? Big Raptors fan. Okay. Yeah. We're still champs. Long right, yeah, hey. <laughs> right now we're still champs. <laughs> that was an exciting season, so. Yeah, it was. It was. It was great. The city, I've never seen uh, seen anything like it. And the, to me, that's what makes sports so beautiful is because, you know, it kind of brought everyone together. Oh, yeah. And, you know, especially like Canada's only team. Right. right. So everyone was going crazy here. It was just a great time to be to be a Raptors fan. So um, how, go through some of your any of your internships or any of the stuff that you've been working on as far as on the sports side. Yeah, whether it be coaching or on the business side. Yeah. So my plate's been pretty full. Um, so my internships uh, with that, with my program there, I did one at U sports, which is the uh, international university um, university league. So it would be like the NCAA in Canada. So all the university sports teams, that's all under U sports. So there I did um, their inter international merchandising and marketing. So um, we have these things called the FIZU games, which is basically all the athletes um, in university play against each other, kind of like an Olympics. Um, it was more like winter sports, not really basketball related, but it was just awesome working in the marketing division there. And then, um, yeah, so that was one of my internships there. Right now, in terms of work, I do social media and marketing for a small basketball academy here. Um, and I also coach at my alma mater, Villanova, and I'm doing video breakdown and analytics at Humber College, which is also where I went. So love to stay Staying busy. Yeah, stay true to my schools. That's nah, good. Um, any kind of software or anything that you're using currently? 
Yeah, I used Synergy. I used Huddle, but uh, I got access to a Synergy account long, not too long ago, and that's it's really helped me because you know just having access to to film and stats before it was just all whatever I could find on the internet. And now, right. oh, so much easier. It makes life so much easier. So, what are your biggest assets that you bring, you know, to a new job? So, um, firstly, I think organizational skills. I love to be organized. I think organization is the one of the pillars for success so i love to stay on top of things i'm punctual i I don't miss deadlines so i know that's something that i always can bring to any workplace another thing is communication skills so i like to think of myself as someone who you know excels at communication in terms of interpersonal communication or something on a social media platform or an online platform so um, those are the two things for sure that I think I can bring to a workplace. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a likable guy. I'm passionate. Uh, and and I love I love sports. So if I'm in the sport field, I know I love what I'll do. How about um, what area do you need to work on the most? Um, yeah, so sometimes I, as, as you can maybe tell, I fill my plate up too much. And then I, I don't give 100% to everything. And it's kind of like, I want to do everything all at once, but you know, sometimes it's better to just put stuff to the side and focus on one thing at a time. So yeah, that's one thing I definitely got to work on and learning to say no. Yeah, definitely. And it takes time. I mean, you know, you definitely, you know, when you're hungry though, you want to get out there and learn as much as you can. You need to, you need to make a living, you need, you know, all these things. So I definitely get that. Um, how do you define success? Yeah. So this, this is an interesting question and I've been asked so many times and it, I love it because it varies for everybody, right? For me, um, success just simply put is achieving your goals. I've always been taught to, you know, set the bar as high as you can because, you know, why, why set standards for yourself lower than they should be. And to me, my goals are, you know, as the hardest thing possible, right? To be a GM or, or to work in the front office, stuff like that. I, I love that kind of stuff. And uh, that would really define success for me because I want to be able to leave a legacy. And um, yeah, achieving goals career-wise has got to be number one for me. And so, I mean, you know, on the, the actual um, basketball side, so um, you've coached at what levels? Right, right now, just high school, but I'm part of the yeah. staff uh, on on my college team. But more just stats and video breakdown. I haven't actually coached. Okay, mm-hmm. is that a path that you're looking to get into, or do you kind of like more of the video analytics and um, scouting, as you mentioned earlier? Yeah, I, I'm. I definitely like scouting and and the video breakdown more. I feel like it's. Uh, I like to me, coaching goes way beyond just X's and O's and, and understanding the game. You have to be able to, you know, control the room and understand your personnel. So I'll need a little more experience before I would get into, uh, you know, doing that at a university level. But in terms of video breakdown and stats, I know I've gotten really good feedback. I know I'm good at what I do. And it's just a matter of now getting an opportunity at a higher level. What would be like your dream job? Uh, dream job would be GM. Of, of an NBA team. Yeah. I'd love to be able to get the opportunity to put a roster together, you know, with salary and, and draft draft strategy and free agency and, and seeing what I can do. So, I mean, there's only 30 jobs. Uh, there's yeah. only 30 of them in the world. So setting the bar high, but uh, you know, if you're on, on this planet, nothing's impossible. So. No. And, and I mean, there, I mean, you know, NBA 30, but I mean, you know, G league is really blowing up, which uh, there's some great talent in that now. Um, even WNBA, um, you know, is, is definitely amazing, but part of that NBA family, which is cool. I I'm a huge NBA fan. So um, likewise, when you become a GM, then bring me in to, uh, to help you out. Are you, are you a Sixers <laughs> fan? You said you're from Pennsylvania. No, I, you know, I grew up a Knicks fan because I have family in, in uh, New York City and, and my aunt would take me to uh, Madison Square Gardens when I was a kid. So back then, Patrick Ewing, John, you know, John Starks, you know, I mean, just the it's it's really who I like now, though. I don't really have a favorite. I just I could watch any team any day, any time. Like 
I just want NBA to be on TV. Oh, me too. And I, I, I like it when there's a game on every night. I like it when there's multiple games on every night. So I can watch West Coast games until, you know, one or two o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely good. So how about a fun fact about you? Yeah, so no one believes me when I tell the story, but uh, I I used to play pretty high level basketball back here in Toronto, and early early in his career when he was still here, uh, Andrew Wiggins played in uh, in the same league, and and we played them in the OBA um, quarterfinals, so Ontario Basketball Association. That was like our playoff, and he guarded me, and I dropped thirty on him, and nobody believes me. That's Where's the video? Part. Come on. No, I have the stat sheet somewhere. <laughs> I have it somewhere. I kept it. <laughs> you need to put that online, man, before you lose it. <laughs> we won the game, and uh, only my teammates can vouch for me and my parents. Yeah. Like nobody else. So. No, that's pretty cool. So, like, you know, you, you still seem kind of young. I mean, no playing left. Yeah, so back there in grade seven, I was this height, so I had a pretty good advantage. <laughs> but right, right, right. I stopped growing, and then everyone—I'm only five eleven. Everyone okay. else is massive. So, yeah. Uh, and then unfortunately, I, I, su- I suffered an injury in my senior year in high school, and then I just said, you know what? If I want to pursue basketball, I want to do it more in a managerial or, or coaching role. So yeah. yeah. How about? Um, are you open to relocate for a position? 100%. I've actually been looking to relocate. I've just been finding it very difficult to kind of get an opportunity where someone's uh, would offer to give me a visa or sponsor me. Gotcha. Um, but like, you know, that's been a, a big barrier for me. I've talked to a lot of coaches here that have told me like opportunities. If you want to get into basketball, like you have the Raptors 905, you have the Raptors. And then after that, like you got to kind of yeah, figure get it to out. The like, US almost. Yeah. So, um, 100% open, open to relocation. Yeah. Okay. No, it sounds good. Well, I appreciate you, um, joining me. I will, um, make sure we get this out and try to get you some exposure because I think there's definitely going to be some, some openings as things start, you know, Mm -hmm. getting back to somewhat normal, hopefully soon. And, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be some opportunities. Awesome. That's great, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. Um, if you want to take a look at my work, I have an Instagram page I run. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Give us the address. Yeah. At contested jumpers. So it's more just like NBA debates and stuff like that, but some, I also write on lineups.com. So sometimes I'll put my scouting reports on there. So if you want to take a look or message me by all means, I'd love yeah. to send me, uh, email me the links and we'll include it at the, uh, in the description here. Great. Thanks again. All right. Thank you very much for having me.